SCP-475. Object class. Safe. Special Containment Procedures SCP-475 is to be kept in a watertight containment locker in Storage Unit 45C of Site-36. All testing with para religions requires permission from the Site Director. To prevent religious groups of interest from learning of the object's existence, knowledge of SCP-475 is to follow Level 3 Info Security Protocols. Description SCP-475 is an ornate sculpture of soap depicting an unidentified pope. Inscribed at the base of the statue is the phrase, Cleanliness is next to holiness. Analysis reveals the object to be composed of a long chain of saturated fatty acids, totaling 89.7% of its mass with the remaining 10.3% corresponding to attached as the hydraulic head. It is believed that the gives SCP-475 its unique properties, but all attempts to recreate this compound have failed. When SCP-475 comes into contact with water and is applied to the skin, all accumulated foreign contaminants are removed. Tested materials include dead skin cells, perspiration, bodily parasites, mold, dirt, and detergents. Post-test examinations have shown that 100% of foreign contaminants are removed, a statistical anomaly to be sure. This process only occurs when used on human skin. All attempts so far to use SCP-475 on non-humans have failed to produce its anomalous effects. Testing on anomalous animals such as SCP-1845 and SCP-2050 is pending approval. Unlike typical soaps, the usage of SCP-475 does not damage it. SCP-475 secondary anomalous effects manifest when it's used on a professing member of an organized religion. Subjects universally report greater mental clarity, show greater adherence to church doctrine, and rate at least 15 centia cliba more on the Brandon Spencer piety scale. These effects increase in intensity the longer the subject uses the object, accumulating in local reality changes signified by all bodies of water within a 5 meter radius turning into equivalent liquid that is considered holy in the subject's religion. Examples of these changes can be found in Test Log 475. Addendum SCP-475 came under Foundation containment when insubordinate elements of the Horizon Initiative relinquished control of it. These elements cited a desire to maintain unity and prevent infighting as to why the object could not be kept. SCP-475 was allegedly recovered from the residence of the Catholic Cardinal who was found deceased from injuries consistent with upside-down crucifixion. The following materials were also provided. I write this document to preserve the personal revelation invested in me. Over these past years I have grappled with my faith. Having committed it to paper, the idea seems absurd. I, a leader of faith, I whose vote was determined the successor of Peter, I who was undeniable proof of God's glory. The initiative, for all its missteps and blasphemy, has provided undeniable proof of God's glory, proof that it has to be withheld from the world due to its inscrutable agreements with occult forces who do not have salvation in mind. Despite this undeniable proof, I wrestled with fears that God is not almighty. How come a God so glorious and almighty stands by as false idols expect of forces over man? By the grace of God, my fears have been quelled. The night before, I beheld an apparition of Mary. Trying to capture the glory of it would be <laughs> futile, but it was an experience too magnificent to withhold. We were out at sea. Below the waves, I could see the church penitents awaiting purification. Further below that, deep beneath, there was a 
creation. All around us were gilded statues of saints, each linked to a church far below. The Virgin Mary herself was resplendent, situated at the top of pedestal, the pedestal carried by a many-winged creature of fire. In her right arm, she held the Savior. In her left, a block of marble. She confided in me, told me of my purpose, and gazed in the marble were the keys to heaven, the church monasterium itself, the authority to commune with saints. Was to take it, free the keys, and cleanse the church militant. Then all will be made clear. When I woke up, there was a block of soap on my nightstand. Queer, but I do not question the machinations of God. Every day since that night has been hazy. I have worked with a fervor to accomplish this mission. Even to this moment, I have my doubts. But I am human. It's my nature to doubt. If there is one thing I can be certain of, that I am a cog in God's plan. Addendum. SCP-475 approved the extensive testing with para-religions. Test Log-475. Level 3 clearance required. Note. Due to the scarcity of power religions adherent under Foundation control, SCP has been approved to create suitable test subjects. Test subject religion, Roman Catholicism. Duration, 3 minutes. Result, water transmuted into a mixture of olive oil and balsam, consistent with chrism oil employed in various Catholic rituals. Stigmata manifested in the subject's hands. Note. Subject was heard reciting Confuciar as an anomalous effect took place. The stigmata healed over the course of the next three days. Test subject religion. Roman Catholicism. Sidifacantist. Duration. Five minutes. Result. Water transmuted into a mixture of olive oil and balsam consisted with chrism oil employed in various Catholic rituals. No overt anomalous effects observed. Notes. Post-test interview indicates that the subject accepted the current Pope as a rightful Pontifex Maximus. Test subject religion. Pentecostal. Duration. 11 minutes. Results. Water transmuted into pasteurized grape juice. Subject began speaking in glossolalia. Also known as speaking in tongues. Notes. Subject made the following request. Access to Site 36. Sick bay. Access to any demonic entities housed on site. A pet snake? The requests have been denied. Test subject's religion. Hasidic Judaism. Duration 60 minutes. Results. Testing was aborted after failure to produce anomalous results. Subjects vehemently denied any change in behavior or mindset. Note. Kent counters measured a. Increase in ambient Hume levels. Further testing warranted. Test subject religion. Broken church. Duration. 13 minutes. Water transmuted into machine oil. Subject began manifesting symptoms of SCP-217 infection. Subject was placed under quarantine. Within 48 hours, the SCP-217 infection present in its system had become rendered inert. Subject transferred to Site-244 for further study. Test subject's religion. Cogword orthodox. Duration, 14 minutes. Result. Water transmuted into machine oil. Subjects proceeded to transform into a metallic ovoid object bearing numerous markings on the surface. Note. Resultant object pending classification as an instance of SCP-1576. Result pending object classification as an instance of SCP-1564. Test subject's religion. Maxwellianism. Duration. 15 minutes. Water transmuted into thermal adhesive. Testing terminated as the subject began complaining about a splitting headache. Analysis indicated that the part of the subject's brain had been replaced with cybernetics inconsistent with standard Maxwellianist augments. Note. 
Subject claims to have experienced the continuation of the signal, a hallucinatory vision all Maxwellianists experience after undergoing implantation of their first augments. In this vision, their subject's religion, neo sarcasm duration 30 minutes, results, water transmuted into blood. Subject began morphing into an instance of SK biotype. Testing suspended and the subject sedated. Upon resumption, subject calcified into a roughly epizoidal object and began emitting thermal radiation in the microwave range. Notes for the testing of neosarchic cults suspended in order to prevent apotheosis events. Subject currently in secondary storage at site 10. The subject religion, children of the Scarlet King. Duration, 45 minutes. Result, water transmuted into blood. Subject underwent a series of transformations, turning into progressively more advanced Davite cast system variants of DV biotype. Transformation accumulated when the subject became a colossal squid and expired. Notes, genetic testing indicates that the blood is from common sperm whale. Test subject religion, fifthism. Duration, 25 minutes. Result, water transmuted into a hundred specimens of subphylum Estozora. Subject melted into candle wax. Suspected connections to SCP-1523. Test subject religion, church of the second high off. 30 minutes. Water transmuted into blood. Subject's forehead developed pigmentation in the shape of a seven-pointed star. Subject displayed previously unknown knowledge of Hoftotian rituals in the language of Ortoton. Notes. Analysis indicates that the blood is from the common seven-armed octopus, Elipheron Atlanticus. Subject religion. Children of the Torch. Duration, 17 minutes. Result, water transmuted into Aquarius flame, similar to those created by SCP-4814. Subject then melted into a waxy substance, yet remained motile and cognizant. Notes, subject expired after 24 hours, remained stored on site 23. Test subject's religion, Australian Church of Australia. Duration, one minute. Result. And yeah, I'm not gonna read that, data expunged, let's move on. Note, further testing with the Australian Church of Australia requires an anonymous approval of the O5 Council. Research into preventing AO class end of the world scenario deemed a class 11 priority. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this lecture. Till next time. Those Australians are so nasty, I swear. Hey guys, this is Bonsert. Thank you for listening. So, some quick updates. So, first of all, why did I start a second channel? Uh, because I wanted to do audiobooks as well, and audio dramas. Uh, like the Association of Ishtar, which is, if you like SCP, uh, you might like my steampunk take on Lovecraftian horror and science fiction. And the second update on that is that I also completed a comic and a novel. Now, the novel is currently at a publisher. It's going through the editing process, so that should be done this year. Now, about the comic. First of all, I want to note that your uh, support has been great. Uh, as you can clearly see, uh, some view numbers of the videos is that YouTube does not promote this content. So, to see that certain videos get like over thousands of views is just amazing to me. Despite me not uploading, uh, still 400 of you subscribed. So, some of you really seem to enjoy my content. If you want me to get noticed, if you want me to make more regular content for this channel, if you want to incite me, so to speak, please uh, consider sharing it with your friends, telling people about it. One of the other reasons that I brought up the comic is because now there is a patron-only edition available on uh, our Patreon or Subscribestar, so you can choose. And one of the reasons why I want to promote this is because I want to do more original art. Like I said, I've been working on my own universe as well, which is very SCP-ish in content. People can also contribute their own stories, so that's the intent. And also I want to do more comics in the future and also that for that I need your support. So yeah, if you ever wanted to support my work, please go to my Patreon or my Subscribestar. Free comic, kind of free, is now available. I'll try and post more of the original art. 
there as well to keep you updated on uh, what's coming and of course you can also like tell me what else you want to work me on and i also give free writing workshops on our discord during that i give advice how to structure scenes perspectives and proper sentences so yeah join the discord if you want to be updated on that in case you're interested in my novel and you want to know a little bit about my writing style and my take on the SCP-esque genre, go check out the Association of Ishtar Wiki down below. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, make things your way.